Hi everyone, my name is Khan and today I'm going to teach you another incredible card trick. It is very simple to do, but it is so so incredible, so so powerful that you will really love performing it. If that's really the case, let me know by leaving a thumbs up on this video and of course let me know your opinion in the comment section below. That's been said, let's jump straight into the performance. So guys, for this one, just go ahead and touch any card that you want. So let's say this one over here, the Nine of Diamonds. Please remember your card and don't forget it. Now with this effect, we will try something pretty special. The special thing is that you will try to find your card on your own. As you already know, it's roughly in the center of the pack. I'll just give these cards some quick shuffles just to make sure that you can't keep track of your cards. Now, I'm going to spread the cards. Whichever card you think is yours, just touch it on the back. Here we go. Let's say you think this one is yours. Would you be impressed if the Jack of Diamonds was yours? It's not. Okay, so the Jack of Diamonds is not yours. Instead, let's try something else with the Jack. Just keep it facing down and place it in the facing up pack where you think that your card is located in the center. So just go ahead, wherever you think your card is, just push the jack in. Let's say you think it's right about here. Let's see how you did. There is one card on top of the jack, the six of spades. Was that yours? No? Okay, no worries. There is still one card beneath the jack, so the king of clubs was yours. No. Um, okay, now this is difficult. You know what? I mean, I gave you now three chances to find your card, but you failed all three times. I really wanted this to be like a special trick for you, but you don't seem to be able to do it. You know what? Let me fix it. A snap and the jack becomes your nine of diamonds. Let's learn it. So guys, what did you think about this effect? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, show me that you liked it by leaving a thumbs up on this video. Now, let me teach it to you. For this one, you'll just need a pack of playing cards. It's an impromptu effect. Once you start with a shuffle pack of playing cards, you will just ask your spectator to touch any card they want. In this case, let's say the six of spades. Whichever card they pick, you have to control it to the bottom of the pack. You can use any method that you want. Very quickly, in my performance, I just took it to the top, cut it into the center, creating a stab on top of it. So as I was talking, I just caught a break above it. I used an overhand shuffle to control it to the top, and then another overhand shuffle to control it to the bottom, right? So during these shuffling sequences, I was just controlling it to the bottom. But again, you can use any method that you want. Once the card is in place, you will have a spectator touch a card from the center, which they think is theirs. Let's say this one over here. Turn it around and it will of course be a wrong card. At this moment, you want to stay in this position for a few seconds so that they at least remember that the wrong card they picked was a king, right? So different than their selection. Once you have done so, you turn it around and you're going to do the following move where you place supposedly the king facing down in the facing up pack, but actually you already switched it for the six of spades their selection. The way you do this is very simple. They pick a card, for example, the six of clubs. Once you turn it around in a fluid motion, you take these cards over here, square them up, and add them to the bottom of the spread and hold the pack here with the ring finger and the middle finger on the edge of the pack, right? So you're here, put it here, in a fluent motion again, raise your hand and then drop it. As you drop it, gravity is gonna do its job and all the cards above the selection, the six of spades, will rotate into your hand. 
this will stay in position as it is in direct contact with the ring finger and the middle finger. Sounds complicated? Yes, I know. So let me go through it one more time. So the six of spades is on the bottom. Spread the cards. Wrong card is chosen. Turn it back around. Move these cards to the top, holding them with the middle finger and the ring finger. Raise your hand. And as you drop, all the cards above the selection will just fall into your hand and you'll basically use the spread to turn them facing up. As this is a move that happens very quickly in a very fluent motion, you are gonna end up with this card, which is supposedly the card they just saw, right over here facing down, just leave it out jog, take the remaining cards, turn them around on top of it, and you're done. At this point, they think that the card that they just have chosen, which is the wrong card, is now facing down in the center, but actually it is now right over here, right? So go through this move a few times. It's actually pretty simple to do, it just sounds complicated. And once you can do that, you're pretty much done. So the six is on the bottom. Touch any card, this one over here, perfect. The king of spades is not yours. Okay, let's do something else with the king of spades. Just take it and place it somewhere where you think your card is at. And of course, it is already switched. Now they just pull it out and place it somewhere in the pack where they think their selection is. And at that point, you are already done. Just spread the pack to show the card above the facing down card, which is the king of diamonds, of course not theirs. Then show the one on the bottom, the four of clubs is of course not theirs either. At this point, I joke around and say I gave them three chances to find their selection, but they failed. So I have to do it myself. I snap my fingers and I show that the wrong card that they just picked became the six of spades. As you guys can see, this is just an incredible fact that you can do Everything happens very invisibly, especially the secret move. It just happens quick, very convincing, nothing to worry about while performing because it is not really difficult to do. If you liked it, as always, let me know by leaving a subscription on the channel and of course, a huge thumbs up on this video. But that was it. I hope to see you next time.